Hola. Salut survivors, welcome back to Salut Podcast channel in Night of the Dead for the day 2409. In today's video, I will first present today's uh, maze development and we will then play the whole night. So as you can see, uh, a couple of days ago for the whole night day 20, we had developed the first U of this maze here in the modification of the maze number two. Now, uh, today I gave it a push after a few days of a little upgrade here and there, and we now have our snake shape maze that we call the serpent maze. And uh, I have modified uh, the walls, the fence around, and uh, it's not yet final entirely as a I need to test a bit more the, the shredders and the traps to insert. Maybe there should be some spike flow and compressors to slow them down. And I have a surprise. We now have the flamethrower. Finally. <laughs> we have been discussing it for two weeks, right? So here I have the flamethrower. I put just a little bit of fuel. Uh, here the goal will be more to test it. So again, in the operations of uh, this... Uh, uh, serpent maze, um, when, to explain to everyone, in case there are some new uh, uh, people joining the channel, we have this door here. That's the main trigger door. When zombies arrive in the main entrance, they all go through here, this main maze, and here at the back we have the rare kid area with a ballista, multiple guillotines, spiked flows, and uh, we can uh, still add more in the future. And then, once they reach the rare kill area, then I, I can go and reload the traps here, reload the guillotine, reload the pendulums, etc. Now, when the uh, game stage is getting harder and harder, we now have this trigger though, that when I cross it and I close it, then the zombies, instead of climbing up to the wall, the main maze, they will go to the serpent here. And now in these serpents, we can easily reload all the shredders on the opposite side, behind the walls, because so far we can uh, reload traps through walls. And uh, this first U has been... Uh, proven uh, working well uh, for the last couple of nights so i have now built the second u here okay as you can see here i can repair and reload the shredder on the opposite side now i have put some cutter traps so i will need to be a little careful because these cutter traps as you can see here shoot through the wall as well and we have these windows so that i can easily use a uh, flamethrower weapon here and for me i can I can slow them down here, if needed. And we now have this frame thrower at the end. So I am not sure if it's going to work well, the frame thrower like this, if it will shoot well in the line. We will uh, test it. I wanted to add a spike flow here. And as you can see, we have these little stairs here. Um, I'm not 100% happy about them. It's, it's because it was too high for the foundations to come there. So this has been one of the big uh, achievements uh, of today. It's not yet entirely finished. And I think in the coming maybe one or two days, we will uh, give an uplift uh, to the uh, traps. If you want to comment on the type of traps to use there, as you can see for the moment, it's 90% shredders. And perhaps uh, there is something more efficient than just having massive amount of shredders. I mean, for now, it's a, it's a shredding snake. <laughs> um, as part of the other uh, developments of today, um, as you know, last night, I got jumped at here uh, massively uh, from the reloading platform. So I have modified it. I, 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 I took took it apart and redid it. It's more or less the same amount of resources almost. And as introduced yesterday, I was hesitating between this build and the one we did yesterday. So that's why here now we have this build where through this wall, I should uh, be able to reload in a, in a safer manner. Like we could see, maybe I should upgrade this one, otherwise it will keep proposing it. Yes, good. So now it's all tier 3. So I'll be able from here to reload safely. I mean safely. 
in a safer manner. Now, Sin uh, showed in one of his videos that he was able to line up a huge amount of guillotines and, and, and I thought that was a really good idea and uh, I'd like to be able to put more guillotines here. But I don't know, for some reason I can't. I can only put them in these uh, in between blocks here. Um, so we'll see uh, how it works with our uh, double uh, trap door and these additional guillotines and the repair platform from there. Ooh, first butcher! He's going to come here. Will we see his head fly? <laughs> yes, we did! <laughs> Okay, let's try our reloading process now. That should be much better. Oh, I'll see that eight only. Let's try our new shooting angle here. So I think the, the loop of death is starting to be really great. Uh, in the sense that we have a good loop, more damage. Um, we'd have to see for the future wave how it goes, but so far so uh, so good, right? Now, I need to be extremely careful here to make sure that this one... Oh, none of them has reached here so far. Okay. And, well, therefore it means that I shouldn't have much reload here. 95. Hopla. I think I will just need to constantly be careful on jumpers here. That's, that's just how it is. They will come here constantly. I need to play with it. What? He's glitched. No, the dead body. Oh, a bit sure. Ha ha ha! Nice. Whoa! I know, he, he has his feet that fell on top of the floor. Or on top of the wall. There is a wall under there. I think we need another one to open the door. Ah, okay, good. I should repair now. Ah. Okay, off him. What jumped on me there? Do a little two of reload. Okay, sounds fine. Okay, great. So I'm not able to reach a guillotine from the back, it appears, isn't it? No, it's still the same one. There, got it. Okay, awesome. Eight. 
<laughs> nice. We are having many, many elites, and so far it's holding. Till one in the morning. Got some flying knives here around. Are you going to fall? Yes. Oh, get stuck again. I probably need to reload the shaders actually. Be able to do that if you keep jumping on me. Oh, again. Why are they all staggered there? They have a path. Wait, something has happened. We get down from here. Something is not as it should be. For some reason. Maybe he broke a stair under or something? Come to the main maze. It will soon be 2 in the morning. Let's make sure they are all coming. I would have to check there what happened. It seems they were not able to pass. Or maybe when the all guillotines ran out of counts. No, look. Her, she can come. That's weird. Okay. Let's focus on this side. We will earlier than usual use the uh, serpent maze so we can uh, test it. Good, a few are reaching the kill area. Okay, let's go. Testing time. Hopefully they will reach in. We won't go uh, to reload them unless uh, something special happens. Oh, what is this one? Oh, it's a burnt, a burnt green elite. Wait, I should not shoot at this. Uh, if we want them to reach the flame slower and test to make sure it works, just the explosion, guys. It could explode before reaching into the structure. Yes, good. Okay, I feel they might not reach the end. Oh, the cutter trap is from this side of the snake shooting on the opposite side. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, uh, more is coming. Yes, 
It's two in the morning. Okay. So here normally I should go down and reload them. I'm not going to do that now because we kind of want them to reach the end to see. Look, if there are too many reaching the end anyway, I can just cross the door. So it's, it's no uh, major big deal normally. I suppose for now it's only butchers or the green guys who could reach the end, I suppose. It seems they, they broke one light here because they were one light per corridor. But actually we see, we see very alright, it's alright. So I'm not so sure about that shredder here. I think the shredder is kind of almost useless. Uh, it should probably be more uh, spikes because they have no way to reload it. So it's a bit, uh, yeah, useless I think. I mean, in the future, there will be really huge holes, right? I mean, bigger and bigger constantly, so at some point in time, this will be too big. And that trader will not uh, really do its job. Okay, we have two green guys and one and two butchers. Let's see. Uh, and multiple uh, jumpers, big bad zombies. They are not jumping on me here, actually. Maybe it's too far for them to jump. Maybe the, the uh, loop of death should uh, be in such a way that it's too far for them to jump on me. Maybe. Okay, will we have a winner? Reach the end of the serpents, please. Unless, unless another wave arrives, we will not see it in action. Well, probably what we would need to do, maybe next night, instead of using the loop of death, we would give it a one day rest, which might be the opportunity to uh, redesign it uh, from scratch because we built it in a say, organic manner for several days, a little adjustment here, a little adjustment there, so maybe we could just completely tear it apart, rebuild it. I mean, that would take a whole day. Huh? Maybe that's not uh, wise, but I think if for us to be able to test it here, as discussed with uh, Genesis on the channel, we, we want to test it, so, so, so we see where it will have weaknesses and what to change. Maybe, as mentioned earlier, modify some traps, I'm not sure. Uh, please uh, let me know in the comments what are your thoughts about this uh, snake uh, design. Again, we have a W, the first one, which we can repair from the inner part of the U, and the second U, which we can repair in the inner part of the U, once again. And finally, at the end, we have this flamethrower to shoot at whoever ammo, or whichever zombie would arrive at the end. And if ever they reach there, then they have this slowdown on the top uh, to reach the door. And when they reach here, or when they are at this compressor, the point will be for me to just get out here. That's, that's the main uh, strategy. Okay, uh, so I think today has been uh, relatively uh, peaceful. Our uh, loop of death was uh, able to handle much better. Uh, there was not so many jumpers on me, right, when I was uh, here on this new zone. I, I, I like it very much. Uh, now there is, of course, the issue to uh, keep reloading these uh, traps. Um, and there was still some jumping on me while I'm here. So perhaps I should add some additional walls. Say, for example, wall here. Can I? Maybe in order to snap a wall here, I would need to add a column or extend the column. I think there is a column embedded in the in between these two walls there at the corner. If I extend that column, I might be able to put a wall. That might be the solution. 
Okay, super. Uh, so uh, we have survived now our wave 24. We are soon uh, halfway from the wave 20 to 30. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm confident that uh, we will be uh, in the coming nights able to, uh, to go much further. Uh, we need to keep improving our uh, maze design. We have not used uh, the parkour. Because as discussed, the parkour is just front of the gate, so it's constantly more an issue to have them spawning in my back. The counts on the traps is being used before. And also, uh, based on some experiments uh, done by Sin on this channel, we could see that there were some ways to make it longer, so that with a flamethrower of a range of three, um, we could, we could uh, optimize it with a slightly different design. So I think we will locate it... Uh, or relocate it maybe somewhere around there, but I don't want to be too close of the house here. Maybe somewhere there and uh, in a different manner. But we'll do that. I think goal would be to have it uh, in the coming two to three nights so we can test it again. And it will have to consider that there is a high risk to have elites. So that parkour platform might need to be more robust than the one we did here for day 20, obviously. Okay, so I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe and see you tomorrow for uh, more adventures. Until then, have a good day. Cheers.